Hey guys, Brendan here. And another unboxing, although I did uh, open this box up already because I was at work today and I figured at least this way the video quality will be a little bit better than recorded with my phone. So I actually got in some boas today. And these guys are from uh, Richard Cincineros. I'm not really sure how to enunciate his last name. It's kind of a crazy one. Um, a lot of people know him as a boa kid. That's his Instagram. He has a lot of really great colorful stuff. He's known for the uh, RC pastels. And that's exactly what these are. They are RC pastels, 100% het for blood. And the reason why these guys are important is because in the future, I actually would like to kind of aim towards producing more visuals within my litters, especially with the boas, with how much time and everything they take to raise up. I want to produce animals that are as good as they can be, as colorful as they can be, and I also want to increase my odds as far as producing visuals with less byproducts. And so these little hets, even though they are just hets, are going to produce probably some of the best examples of blood, stuff that stays nice and red and colorful as it, as it gets older. So here's this one here. I believe this one is the male. Um, I'm going to do the fun, nice close-up shots afterwards. Um, but these guys are super variable. They'll have their light colors and then their dark colors and kind of go back and forth in between them. But the end result is a super clean, super colorful, and super bright animal. And as the goal with pretty much any species, it's pretty much to keep the best looking animal as it gets older. So while these look great as babies, they look even better as adults. And once you get the blood into the mix, it is going to make an easily achievable, beautiful blood as an adult. They're not going to brown out. They're not going to get ugly. They're going to stay nice, red, and colorful, and vibrant. And that's the end goal. So we have, we have a pair. This one, I believe, is the, uh, is the female. The other one is the male. Both of them look about the same. I feel like they were both on the higher end of the color spectrum that Richard had available. And those things went quite quick. I think he actually only has a pair of those things left. So without further ado, I'm going to get the close-up shots of these guys and show them how nice and beautiful they are. And hopefully they cooperate with me. Boas are definitely not as easy to deal with as uh, ball pythons are, especially when you're trying to get some nice, simple, clean video of them cruising around to represent their colors and looks accurately. Thanks for checking out the video. Let me know what you think in the comments and what you would like to see done with either bloods or what kind of selective breeding projects you're working on to increase the quality of the adult. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for checking it out and we'll see you next time.